welcome to the testing academy and you know many people ask me this question promote sir how much time it will take to become an automation tester manual testing jobs are almost like dying and there are almost like no jobs for the manual tester so i want to learn automation but what is the duration it will take how much time it will take how much coding i have to do i have a coding fear how to remove the coding fear how much practice i have to do what is the time duration which topic i have to follow which road map i have to follow and as a fresher do i have to follow a different path or if i am from a non it background like me because i was also from the non it background right do i have to follow a different path to become an automation tester right so i thought okay let's do one thing let's create a video which we have created a uh, long back which is road map to become an automation tester in 2023 so what there are some updates there are few things that i have added so in 2024 if your target is that promoter i want to become an automation tester i want to get a high salary stable job and a better career in the future right this video is for you because in this video i'm going to discuss about a four month plan that i have basically prepared for you i'm going to give you a full template i'm going to give you a couple of courses which topic you have to follow and step by step way if you follow properly with one hour or one and hour per day right how can you to become an automation tester right so all these details we are going to discuss not only that what if i tell you that exactly this topic or the road map that you follow right many people more than 2000 plus students have already followed this road map and they have got the results so you can do it too it's just that you are just basically lazy that's why you are not able to follow the road map right so what exactly is the road map let's discuss how you can to become an automation tester right so step number 1 okay let me show you the bigger picture okay so this is a bigger picture that you can see let me show you the step number 1 what you have to do for the first 10 days first 10 days you have to do right so there are two ways if first of all if you are already a manual tester then this step is not needed if you are a fresher or a non it person then you have to learn about the manual testing right guys manual testing is very very important to learn the automation because those manual scenario that you have created right eventually you are going to automate them right so that's why learning basics of software testing sdlc stlc testing technique debugging test management tools and not only that nowadays three important topics i have added extra which are learning agile scrum and jira this is super important that you should learn not only that i would suggest you at least you should prepare a github profile where you have added all the documents that you have created your test plan test cases or everything right all the templates that you have followed put them so showcase them so that your hrs will know that whenever you apply to a new job that you have done some manual testing okay i'm going to show you a demo also i I have a demo of how to showcase your projects as a manual tester live projects. I'm going to show you right now. So if you go to my profile, just search, just go to this uh, software testing projects four or three. Anywhere you can just open. Okay, and here you will see I have successfully created a GitHub profile where all the documents related to test plan, test cases, all or bug work documentation I have added. This is exactly you have to do. Okay, so it is true for freshers, manual testers, as well as if you are non IT, please make sure you do it if you want to really want to get a job. Okay, step number one. I hope this is clear. Step number two. So this will take around ten days if you give one hour or one and a half hour. Right, I am pretty much sure you can follow this. And after I am going to give you a top. topics also so if you want to see atb topics right uh, atb what we what we have topics give me a excel sheet i have created right which you excel this excel sheet you can follow which basically give you all the topics important topics and you can bookmark you can say tick mark on this okay so all the topics related to software testing basics you can say that okay i have learned and you can basically copy this and bookmark so how you can copy just copy create a file make a copy and create a local copy of yours and this is how you will bookmark right now step number 2 learning the programming language this is very very important okay so how to learn programming language so i think java is the most popular language right now for the automation tester right if you search for 10 jobs i think 7 jobs are related to java so go ahead with this learning java collection oops concept threading and design pattern is must to go and i generally recommend that if you are doing the programming language at least do 100 plus coding questions those are very very important i have prepared a extensive list for this and i recommend generally but what we do in the automation tester blueprint batch right we do more than 200 plus questions so that everyone understands java very very well for the oops collections exceptions threading and multiple other concepts right so if you want to know more about exactly promoter i want to see the core java road map this is how it is basically uh, let me try to open this into a new tab also if possible let me see see the board i can click or click click here right and here you can see the overall board also for the core java important topics i have noted down everything right these are the all topics that is it you needed to basically learn about java and that is enough and in the end i have given the collection framework also which you can basically do okay so this will how java will work 
right i think if you are paying attention i think 30 days will be enough if you are giving at least one and a half hour per day basis right to this plus doing the coding exercise see i know you have a coding fear right so how to handle the coding fear promoter see what i have seen guys i am i am i am running the automation tester blueprint since one year right so what i have seen is if you want to remove the coding fear right what you have to do is jump into the coding right that is important and do more number of the challenges the more challenges that you so i have prepared a excel a, a basically a sheet or you can say a google doc which we have where we have more than 100 plus questions which are asked for the automation right i have noted down all these a triangle pattern left pattern all these with the solution which you can see and here it basically help it will basically help you to get a more confidence right because the solution is also there not only that we have lead code 15 plus challenges also which are important for you to do so that you also have a more and more confident in case of coding right so i think pretty much sure 30 days is enough to learn in the concepts and see next thing is applying the practice so that we will discuss later in this case right after that next 30 days your plan should be that to learn api testing with postman and rest assured you have seen it right how you can learn it you can learn it through the videos you can learn through the our, our my series we have a postman series rest assured series that you can follow and if you already know in the topic sheet i have added all the topics for rest assured as well as for the postman if you know just mark book mark this and tick 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 and you are good to go right so now what happens right so we are at the step number 4 where you will be learning selenium with maven testng apache pi filo lombok frameworks and cucumber bdd all this will take around 40 days 1 hour per day which is which i think it is enough more than 40 hours you are giving to selenium right that is enough for web automation and if you follow this plan in the step 5 i have given git jenkins aws docker selenium grid which is nothing but a ci cd part for the git uh, for qa which most of you miss please don't miss this git jenkins aws docker and selenium is important for automation tester that you should say right so overall timeline if you see right we will it is a kind of a four month plan one hour per day almost approximately plus what i recommend is two met two manual projects three projects in api automation two projects in web automation cyber side and pushing your code to repository so that you have more and more repository which are very good looking okay let me show you the good looking web repositories or frameworks that you have created so here if you see we have a advanced selenium automation framework that we have created with the tech stack of java everything and not only that we have ap automation which is created which is running which can run more than 10000 plus test cases parallelly also by using the rest assured we have basically done it and you can create it too so all these are available by the way if you want to see right so overall when you see right around 120 days 130 days it will take which is around 4 months plan right if you follow regress regressly you can to become a automation tester and this is the road map that i have followed my students have followed and they have got amazing result i don't know if you have seen the testimonials guys many students have done it if you want to follow along with your yourself right then it is also fine but what what i am recommending is see i also run a live batch which which i think live batch interaction is important because the more you interact with mentor right then what happens is your doubts are cleared and you get you get a more confident that's why i generally learn the uh, run the batches also right if you don't want to join a batch that fine but again if you want to join 5x batches launch here is announcement right so here you can see the testimonials you can see like like how people with a 7 years 10 years freshers as well as non it i was from a non it background right i was able to crack and become an automation tester are able to crack everything right so this is the road map I hope you have liked it. Let me know how many of you want this in the chat. Just type roadmap in the chat, right? I will basically pin a comment where all the documents related to plan for your 2024 plan, right? I want all of you to become an automation tester. This is my I goal is, right? Everyone, a manual tester, fresher, or a non IT person who want to jump into the automation, right? They should get. They sh do you deserve a high salary? You deserve a better package. You deserve everything because when I was a manual tester, I knew this, right? I was getting 2.96 LPA. Right. I knew I can get 5 LPA, 10 LPA, 15, 20, 30, 35, 45, 50, 50. What else? Right, LPA. If you follow a proper roadmap, so please make sure you do it. Thanks for watching. I know a little long video, but roadmap is roadmap, which basically give you a clarity. I, if a known IT person who has no idea about the programming language can do it, you can do it too. Follow the plan, and if you want topic list, this link also I will share. Just type automation in the chat, automation in the comment. I will basically add the link if I get a mi maximum. likes right then we would we will definitely go ahead right if we get 100 likes i will put pin the comment with all the document that we have mentioned okay thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye don't forget to like okay bye bye